be making here water and breakfast. Waiting for the snowstorm to subside so that we can go back. with the heavy packs going up, 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 <sighs> exhausting like anything. <sighs> My backpack is just too heavy. Ten days of food and ten days of snacks. <sighs> and it's a lot of going up. Actually not the ali real aliens, they are uh, climbers.
slow bobber and you have heavy back sweaters and uh, now we've got the heaviest part of rock and rock, straight rock walls <sighs> with heavy packs. Luckily the, the strong wind gusts are, this, I think this rock protects so right here it's not what, what, what shall happen today? So the problem is that like everything is really cold and wet and wet and even if you go like this you if you are in the tent there is still snow that condensates condensates from your breathing and you have ice on here you have like the sleeping mattress is wet and you're basically you're constantly fighting against snow and cold and yeah and wind and uh, yeah and lips that looks like this yeah, yeah. and uh, outside the vestibule looks like this so you have everywhere snow everything you touch is cold it's wet it's miserable miserable <laughs> basically terrible yeah so uh I didn't see, like, there's very few reasons I could think of to recommend high altitude mountaineering to anybody <laughs> at this yeah, point. Yeah, I don't recommend it. Anything. It's like, uh, yeah, no, just don't do it, okay? Don't do it. There's yeah. so many nicer things to you could do. Yeah, you could just be sitting in a sauna and being yeah. warm and I, or just, uh, yeah, go to Italy and swim in some nice lakes. Or, yeah. <coughs> yeah. But on the other hand, a view like this. Which is honestly hard to beat. So yeah, it's a double-sided sword. <laughs> <laughs> 